What's going on, everybody? We're back. It's your friend Will. This is the memory lapse, and it's a bit of a rarity today, in that it's oh, staggering 9 p.m. at night. But we're getting in a quick stream and a quick recording here uh, before we go to bed. We have been grinding a lot of uh, best of one ranked. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm currently gold three. Let's take a look. Gold tier three with two wins in. Um, if you saw any of the streams that I did, I was just doing some chill, like no audio streams, just playing music because either my wife was here working from home or just hanging out. I didn't want to be talking into the mic all day, but we got up to gold really quickly playing green, white, <clears throat> and that's when we started encountering a lot of real decks and real players. I played some green, black, got up to gold three and have kind of just been going like win, one win, two wins, you know, then one win, two losses, just really treading water so i'm starting to look at alternatives and you know this is kind of in a way a, a variation on the best of one constructed events that we were playing before um maybe about a month or so ago and it's, it's a different format it's magic but it's not right so here's where we're at uh we're going to be trying this deck i'm 2-0 with it right now actually when i was playing a little earlier this afternoon not recording at all or streaming but this is a Primal Amulet, um, Nexus of Fate kind of combo deck. Ton of cantrips, ton of cheap stuff. The idea is to dig to an amulet, flip it, and then use it to start twin casting Nexuses. Um, you know, get a flip search for Esconta to help you find them. And you basically just end up for every one time walk you cast, you get two. I'm doing a slight variation on a list that I found that was a couple months old. I'm playing... Uh, some Sinister Sabotages and some Dip Fairies and a little more land over things like Anticipate. I really wanted to add the Dip Fairy to this list to give us a way to deal with a clogged board state um, quickly. Uh, go ultimate with it and just start um, exiling their permanents to enable the Chromium to go through. Though realistically, most people are going to concede the game once you start twin casting Nexuses. But I just wanted these as a backup way to win faster when people make us do it. And so we're sacrificing some of the dig in the deck. So let's just jump right in and see if this is any good. No need to talk about sideboarding because of course we're not sideboarding. And let's go. So this right here, I think it's kind of a keepable hand. We have two cantrips that gain us life that stall us out, get us into our insight, and then hopefully we'll find like a wrath of some kind, keep finding land. Perfect. These games are obviously going to be slow, but the idea is that you only have to win the one, right? So we're just going to go ahead and chain Ritual into Chemistry's Insight. In matchups like this, I don't think it's important to hold these uh, game life cards. We're not going to need to twin cast them. I don't think we're going to be losing on life very quickly. Unfortunately, by playing this one, it might give away what we're up to, since this is not a usual inclusion. But this is one of the reasons that I kind of thought this deck, in addition to the fact that I played against it, and I was like, wow, okay. Like, they really got the better of me, but... In best of one, you kind of read like a Jeskai deck or a blue-white control deck, and then you kind of turn the corner. And I think you can you have the potential to really just like blow your opponent out. Let's play Discovery here. Maybe we'll find one of our sabotages. Opt planes. Do we want either of these? I guess we want the opt. Still just digging the amulet.
You can see we're already like five cards deeper into our deck than our opponent. There's a chance we might want to blow this Nova, one of these Novas, just to destroy their search so they can't keep digging for counter spells in the middle game here. We'll have to think about that in this next turn, actually. So let's revitalize first, draw our random card, then we'll have more information about what we want with our opt. Meandering River. I mean, we do want to keep hitting land drops, so let's just take this one. Hmm. So if we're going to Nova away this search, probably now is the time to do it before we play search of our own. But I guess the one thing to think about is... Yeah, maybe we just play our own. I, the one thing that I'm a little worried about is giving them an opportunity where we tap out and then they get to play Teferi in the clear. They put one in the graveyard. Usually when we played with search and we do that, it's because... We have one in our hand, and we anticipate that that's just going to be the one that we're going to stick. So let's hold up our three mana here. Let's make it look like we have a sabotage, and that we just opted not to defend our search there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, well, Thought Erasure is going to give us away. So what do we think they're going to take here? Probably this fairy is my guess. Yep. Luckily, Teferi is not a necess uh, necessity for this deck. It's just kind of a nice to have. But they know what we're up to now. <clears throat> Play the island because they don't know about the fortress. This Nexus is kind of nice, so if they do tap down for Teferi, we can play Nexus at instant speed. Actually, do we just do it here? I think we do. That lets us get a clean Nova off and get rid of their search. They draw their cards, whoop de do. Yeah, they were about to flip that, so getting rid of it's good. Yeah, we got a little bit of an explorer there, right? Hey, Ichi, come here. Now, now. Hmm. If we had a black source here, we could go for a dispersal play. Uh, it's not that good, though. Hmm. Let's leave the amulet on top to draw into next turn, and then I guess we'll try to find a way to resolve it. So yeah, a lot of the lists that I saw for this deck, not that there's like a lot to go off of, um, don't play any counter spells. And you know, in best of one, that might be fine. Because we're really, it's kind of like a bit weird that we're getting paired against a control deck right off the bat. Because in our, what, whole day and a half of playing best of one, we have not seen a ton of control. It's mostly been green, black, um, and blue, red decks with a little bit of red, white, and mono red, but really hardly any control. All right, so they're doing this on their turn. We have a nice full grip now. So th this is not the deck that we're building this to beat. We're going to play this match anyways, like we have to. But yeah, we're not trying to beat 
this deck. So we're, I think we're just going to go with like the draw four here. But we really can't afford to jam this amulet into counter magic. They are like a turn, two turns away from going nuts with the fairy. Get rid of the river first. And let's get rid of the settle. I kind of do want to make a land drop still. This cont is good. We should hold this op to for the primal amulet. So maybe we try to lead with the amulet here and let it get countered. <clears throat> Sinister Sabotage helps. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can lead with Amulet. Try to protect it with Sinister Sabotage. I have to imagine they have multiple counter spells in hand, right? But we really have to play. We can't really play around like a ton of them. I mean, I almost wonder if it's better to try to fight over search. All right, search resolves. Sabotage back here. I'm sure they have something else. Syncopate. All right, another Sabotage. <clears throat> so that's three Sabotages down from them. Just going to put them on the lower side of what they have left, probably. So now our goal is just to kind of find some Nexuses and... Or try to stick it to fairy and minus there to fairy before they ult it. Now, if we had sideboards, obviously our almost our entire sideboard would be for this deck. <laughs> oh, that's not the game we're playing. We're playing best of one. We're more or less punting this matchup, but I, you know, I feel like we're going to give it a good effort here. We've seen a ton of our deck. Oh, actually, they have two. Jeez. I guess we've both resolved a lot of these Chemistry's Insights, and they've been working at Teferi. All right, so we're basically going to concede here when they have an answer to this Teferi. Wow, they don't have it. Okay. So we keep them off of their Teferi ultimate. All right, we're still in it. We have nexuses that they can't counter forever. Although, is that both our searches down? That's a little bit of a bummer, not having a resolve search. I wonder if they run Settle. Probably not. If they're running Vrasis Contempt, it feels like you have to decide between those two. So we're drawing live to our Chromium too, which means maybe we need to stop uh, playing lands to have discarded chromium food. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Although one more land does enable to cast two nexuses in one turn to the degree that that might matter. Or like pay for a big syncopate. They can take the Nova. 
All right, so we're going to get two turns in a row here. We're not playing any enchantment-based removal because those aren't spells that enable us to flip amulet. No seal away, there's no excellence binding. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're digging here. It seems they don't have any counters. All right. Another turn. Oh, it shuffled away that jump start. Oops. All right, that was a mistake. I uh, know we bricked out. All right, we misplayed there. We should have waited one more turn because we knew they didn't have a, a nexus. So we could have waited to our next free turn. So now we absolutely have to find it here. Chromium doesn't even do it. Four, five, six. <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven. No, still no. All right, well, we're going to try to win with Chromium here. We have a lot of land in play. But we can't play it here. We have to wait a turn. We still have two more amulets and three more nexuses in here. <laughs> so we have the cards, we're just not finding them. That's a little bit sad. We have a pretty small library. So if we go, yeah, we still have plenty. Worth playing the amulet. It might chase out a counter. Okay. Not that we have much left other than the nexuses. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, that's right. They just take the amulet out. Obviously. So we'll go chromium end step here. Four, five, six, seven. If they draw again, I guess we kind of have to go for it. Oh, now we have to go for it. I just hope they don't have like a lot of like other stuff. All right, yeah, we're screwed. Oh, I think we got really unlucky there. Well, we misplayed the Nexus turn by Nexusing before we needed to because we could have gotten the draw card. But this is also just not the matchup we're looking for. And typical channel lock where we're just like metagaming for a deck or for a group of decks and not playing against it. But we we could have, uh, I don't know, we drew so many cards there. If we just found another Nexus, I think we would have been in a better position. I think still underdogs, but 
Uh, when you're down to 14 cards in your deck like that, you really don't expect to miss on so many in a row. Is right, so this one we have to mulligan? I think. It's just a lot of cards. We do want the amulet, but we don't want these Teferis in our opening hand, typically. This is a bit better. This is actually much better. This is actually, I mean, I guess depending on what they play, we'll hold this radical idea until we play amulet. So we leave with catacomb. The plains makes the glacial fortress come into play untapped. All right, they go discovery. We're going to go discovery. It's just a question of how good is the Nova going to be against them. Hopefully good. But we do need to find other land, so we'll play the discovery here and make sure we get there. Meandering River is okay. We draw another radical idea so we can go river radical idea next turn. Into amulet, into nova radical idea. Start trying to flip it. So we just need them not to do 20 to us over two attacks off an Enigma Drake. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, they're only getting in for three this turn. They chart. So we know we're going to resolve this amulet, and we know based on their list that they're really unlikely to have any main deck answers to it. And Cleansing Nova gets around the dive downs of the format. It doesn't get around the spell peers. All right, this is them taking a think and reading the card. All right, so it's kind of spell pierce or bust for them here. Obviously, we go for it because there is a chance that we die next turn, but it just feels like they have the spell pierce here. They play this so confidently. Wow, they don't have it. Okay. Maybe they're on the dive down plan. Yeah, nice dead card beacon bolt here. Arclight Phoenix. Discard. Flip. Primal Amulet. I don't think we, we want to play our search because we want to start finding time walks now. Alright, so let's tap this for blue. A discovery. So we get to cantrip this. Or we get to twin cast it. Search we don't need. Chromium will take. Island we don't need. Ops will take. Well, as long as they're not on the Maximize Velocity plan, 
I think we're going to live this turn. I really didn't want to just blow a cleansing nova last turn. Yeah, so they're attacking for three. We go to seven. They could have a boatload of shocks. They have Mizzet. All right, so let's opt. Now we'll just be wrathing these all away. We give them a card. Right, we still have a backup set of the wreckage. We'll draw two off radical idea here. Oh, this is not good. Maybe we needed to not discard that land because if they go off here, shucks, we're gonna take six. Darn it, we misplayed somewhere. We misplayed in d discarding a land somewhere. We need to draw one off of um, the Discovery. Because if we had settled the Wreckage Mana up, we wouldn't be losing to this uh, Phoenix. Or maybe we needed to not play Nova. Maybe we just needed to hold up a Settle the Wreckage to go for the Settle when they attack with the Phoenix. Because, yeah, we killed we killed ourselves here. All right, well, we'll, start, we'll start, we're still learning with the deck a little bit. But that's obviously a bad mistake to make. Hmm. All right, so we went from two wins in a row to two losses in a row, and unfortunately we didn't get to record the wins. But let's keep going. That's the type of deck that we are trying to beat, and I think uh, that in general will be good against it. I think the Arclight version is going to be a lot harder because all of our removal is like four and five mana Wraths. Settle's good against them, but the Nova is not as good. This is a keeper. The Chromium sucks, but we want the Surge and we want the Amulet. And Radical Idea helps us as well. All right, so lead off with the Meandering River. Wraths are gonna be good against this deck. We know that they're not going to have too much burst out of nowhere, but we are going to have to like find one. Oh, right. This card. Wrath is not good against this card. Well, we are in the market for land drops right now. So let's say we're going to ritual this turn, gain four, untap, play amulet, and then try to flip it real quick with this radical idea. And we need to find a settle the wreckage to get rid of this vanguard. Huh. So the decks I beat before, which this is like it's such an insane start for them, were green, black, and uh, mono red. So these are the first time I'm playing all these matchups. Settle the wreckage? No. But we need that to cast the settle the wreckage eventually. So we're taking three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten this turn. Yeah, looks like we might just be dead on turn four. <laughs> Though they miss a land drop too. They miss two land drops. No one land drop. We went first. So we need exactly settle the wreckage on top here. We have a search and an opt to get us there. These vanguards. If it wasn't for the vanguards, we would have Nova being live, but. Nexus of Fate, not gonna do it. So we graveyard that, it gets shuffled in. Meandering River, doesn't do it. Oh, 
So let's decide if we want to uh, scoop right here. Revitalize. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Revitalize doesn't do it. it has to be settle. All right. All right, so we'll scoop. Oh, we mulliganed. And the double vanguard draw is going to be tough for us no matter what. But let's stick with it. And then let's think about making some modifications. Maybe we just need to play more settles um, over Novas. Because we really don't care about giving them the land in the long run. We're going to just not let them use it. We're just going to take the turns. But yeah, Adanto Vanguard being a card we can't easily answer does kind of matter. It is in the green-white decks and it is in the red-white decks. I'm sure there's going to be games where they just don't have it. This is the one we can... I think we can kind of keep this. Discovery and Opt will help us find a white source. Uh, we're, we're hoping to prey on the mid-range decks of the format. Um, like this one. Although this hand maybe doesn't stack up too well against it. But yeah, if we just opt into Settles and Wraths, I think we're okay. Teferi doesn't do it. We're going to need board clear. There's one. We can even... No, we can't disguise it for too long. Uh, another discovery is probably okay. But maybe we just need to dig the white sources here. This is going to be so sad if we get to 5 mana, but we don't find another white source and we just lose because of it. Alright, there's another white source. Alright, they're spewing their hand. I mean, I guess we're also going to be so sad if we just play Wrath and then just play a Tyrant. But maybe we'll find another one by then. So 3, 6, 9. Wow. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Actually, Wrath's too slow, this game. Unreal. The Wild Growth Walker draw just gets there. Yeah, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wrath is too slow. We're just going to play cantrip spells and they're going to beat us down. 3, 6, 9, 10, yeah. Huh. This is really giving me something to think about. Well, we can, we're can. we kind of bluffing. Oh, nice. Okay. They respected Settle the Wreckage. So yeah, sometimes you can just give your opponents a chance to beat themselves. Not that that's what happened here. But it certainly gives us outs that we didn't think we had. And we do read as a Settle the Wreckage deck, and we are a Settle the Wreckage deck. So the opponent's not wrong to respect it. Alright, so let's start working on Flipping Amulet. There's Carnage Tyrant. So now we do, we are in a situation where we have to find Wrath or Settle here. Oh, Revitalize kind of helps. Can we twin cast or revitalize? One, one, two, three. Yeah, we can. Don't think we want sabotage though. We are still looking for a wrath. So 
that gains us six. We go to eleven and draw two. There's a settle. All right, we're kind of doing the thing. We have settle for next turn. A radical idea here. If we start finding nexuses, we get to take the turns. Primal amulet also not legendary, so we can start working on flipping a second one. I guess we'll do that here. So as long as they don't have main deck and disruption. We could have done this the opposite way. We could have twin cast this discovery first, looked for a nexus and been fine. But we're doing it in the hard mode way and miss sequencing our cards. We want the Teferi. We want the Nexus. I think we don't care about the Sinister Sabotage at this point. Famous last words. All right, so we got rid of the the big dragon. What are they going to get back here? Some two drop. This might be the last turn they get. They just don't know it. Is this Nexus of Fate will flip this amulet? I think we're good. All right, so two extra turns in the bank. Play to fairy. And this good. Okay, well, yeah, that's where we thought it would be. All right, back up to, to gold three. Let's get some more green black decks. Um, let's take a look though. I mean, do we want to like maybe even bias this more towards settle? We could cut one to fairy, or we could trim down the counter spells. Two of them doesn't really give us a lot to rely on. Maybe we just want like removal effects that are instant speed. We just want like one and one, or another ritual. Let's try that. Let's just remove the counter spells entirely and see how it feels. Yeah, I didn't I didn't look at the exact math there. But uh oh. 
on the play with Discovery, do we think we can find white sources? I kind of think we can. It did, it did feel like our opponent maybe underswung there, but we we were pretty obviously telegraphing that we had settle. So sometimes you just got to like believe in yourself, I guess. All right, let's see white sources on top. We're on the play here. Our opponent doesn't have elf, so we have a lot more time to find answers. They're not on the aggro wild growth walker draw that could have killed us on, turn, on their turn five, our turn four. So we're kind of blessed here. If they just like casually miss land drop. Okay, nope, just gonna make their Jade Light Ranger. Um, might as well. This maybe will bait out a uh, uh, Assassin's Trophy or something that'll guess the second white source. Is there unlikely to have a lot of ways to answer this other than like a, maybe a single six mod of Raska in their deck? Oh, I guess Vivian Reed would answer it potentially. That's that is the risk of running it out there. I do like making our opponents read our card. And this does make like any cantrips we draw like uh, better. White source. Yeah, so I think we just wrath them here. We want to save these settles for bigger stuff. I think the mic just picked up Ichi licking his lips. I heard it in my headphones at least. You could turn the, the volume way up and go back five seconds there and see if you could hear him licking his lips. He loves to do that. He's kind of freaky. We might just be jamming to fairy and plussing it here. Make them spend a turn playing contempt, draw a card. We don't really need it to win. Long run. Yeah. Actually, we can plus it, play land, and play settle, so we can protect it. Though they're, they're probably going to go after it with Veras's contempt. We don't even need to play Settle. Yeah. If they want to spend four mana and just attack us for three, I'm okay with it. Okay. Let's find some cantrips. We might even want to settle this turn to flip the amulet faster. Yeah, I guess we should wait one more turn because we don't know how many turns we're going to have to go. And every extra card we get helps. They're down to three cards. We do really want to flip this, though, before they find an answer to it. I guess we know that their next card is not an answer, so we'll flip it. Unless they trophy it. But if they're on this, I'm guessing they're not playing trophy. 
a secret squire. Alright, so now we can settle them, untap, and twin cast Nexus of Fate. And then hopefully get some cantrips. So this card has to be Assassin's Trophy. Yeah. I guess even Assassin's Trophy can handle the flipped card though, but uh, the Planeswalker doesn't. All right, so now they refill their board. We take some extra turns. I hate this graphical bug. There we go. Fix the casting cost there. All right, so we got a couple turns in the bank. Play search. We'll draw this, transform. And we'll dig first. Discovery digs us the most cards. Twin cast it. Let's take revitalize because it can't trips. Take Nova because it clears the board again. Just use our mana as efficiently as possible. Bingo. This auto tapper is not good right now. Although I guess it doesn't matter because so we're not going to be playing using the Escanta this turn. Let's use the radical idea because we might want to twin cast the discovery next turn. All right, so same deal. Actually, no, I think we want to twin cast the discovery first and thin our deck further, right? Yeah, that's the way to do this. Because we don't need to cast the nexus this turn, we can cast it next turn. Um, nexus, thank you. Now we're digging for wind conditions. Second amulet's actually good, right? Actually, two extra amulets is actually good. Amulet. Radical idea. All right, so this is the turn we have to take an extra turn, but do we have enough to play four? Yeah, we do. So let's play another amulet. Twin cast the Nexus. Yeah, we can just take the Teferis and like the wind conditions out of this deck. Ooh, Zulu Ball says I have 62 cards in the deck. Let's take a look. 
I am at 62 cards in the deck. Okay. Oh, I accidentally added like an extra Nova. Okay. An extra Ritual. Maybe we cut one to fairy. We really don't need it. Maybe we just cut both to fairies. Because the chromium flies, right? So what what's the what in the format outsizes chromium in the air? The Drakes do. Potentially. Which is kind of like I like why I liked the idea of having one to fairy in there. But let's try it like this then. Oh, now we're down to 59. So we can add like a third ritual. Or we can just keep one to fairy. It also has like, it untaps Escanta, it untaps the twin casting land. Like, I think it's gotta be good in this deck. It's just hard to protect it. Hmm. On the draw, I think we're keeping this. It's mono red, so all we have to do is survive. We know they're not interacting with anything we do. The revitalizes are actually pretty good for that. How much are we taking here? Ooh, no land. Yikes. All right, well, on the draw, this did not work out. We had three... Three draw steps and a revitalize to find another land, and we missed it. Four, five, six, seven. So now we're kind of going to be missing the timing on our amulet, which we could have could have potentially flipped rel like, kind of quickly in this deck or in, with this hand. Oh, I'm just going straight to frenzy here. Yikes. Uh. Yeah, they're probably just gonna like to kill us this turn. I think if our lands came into play untapped, we would have been a lot better. Or if we had just drawn one more in a timely fashion. Three, four, five, six, we gain three. Yeah, but we just die. Because we can't even draw Wrath here. We need to draw, I don't think Ritual even does it, honestly. Four life's not enough. All right, on to the next one. Maybe that was too bad of a keep with two check lands and, I don't know, on the draw though. Although this is not a 26 or 27 land deck. This is a much lighter list. So maybe we need to just not keep those hands. And we've played a ton of 27 land lists where we kept two and got punished, so I don't know why I thought that we would get there on 24. All right, on the play, search and discovery. We're not going to be under as much pressure. Start working the search. This is a mirror match. I actually added these meandering rivers to the deck. They were not in any of the, not that I found like a lot of lists, but the one old list I found played was like missing dual lands and stuff. And it just felt like we have a lot of double white in the deck. So 
Mana River does seem decent. Although maybe it's just not good because we do have a lot of like two drop things we want to do and there's not really a good timing to play it if we want that. Let's discovery to make sure we hit our next land drop. If they want to counter this, I guess we're okay with it. Although not happy about it. They do want to counter it. All right, so then this is not a mirror match. They're on a more traditional control deck. <laughs> hmm. I guess we graveyard this. Draw fresh. Ugh. Because we do want to just flip this now. Okay, if they want to negate our Revitalize, that's excellent for us. Although us missing land drops, it's not good. And we have like this Chromium. I hate wind conditions. Yuck, wow, two games in a row. But they did they did counter our they countered our uh cantrips, so. That was the risk we took, assuming they were not going to counter the Revitalize. And now if they have like Ixalan's Binding or something for the Surge. Hmm. Wow. Okay, thank you. They can only have so many counter spells, and they've already used two of them. It looks like they're gonna dig for a negate here. The upside of this deck is that we can kind of ignore Teferi until it actually threatens to kill us. Oh, Lyra. Ooh. Need another white source, we can kill it. Oh, come on. Mm, this is really frustrating. But we draw another land, then we can just play these Nexus of Fate, so. I think we want to play it on their turn, at least the first one. Help us resolve a Cleansing Nova, maybe. I wonder which one they're going to go for here. I'm guessing one of the amulets. Go for the search. Okay. So if they counter this one, we get to take another turn in our turn. Yeah, they do. It goes back into the deck. We got the counter still. We're just trying to hit a white source here so we can just wrap this thing away. No luck. But we could rejuve and flip these amulets potentially if we find like a opt or something on top. Chemistry's insight will do it. <laughs> We're still missing land drops. That's crazy. Hmm. I guess we'll just settle the wreckage, their Lyra. And then we'll work these Primal Wellsprings to win. The 
This is like three copies of Settle, so they can't possibly counter them all. We even could have taken that hit and just like drawn six cards. We also have Chromium. Hey, another land. Flipping the Wellsprings is pretty crazy. Alright, so this is a draw six. Wow. So yeah, this is flipping the wellsprings makes their counter magic kinda like eh. Kinda not so good. the question is do I just like Nexus now yeah probably all right so we stack up three turns What's the best way to do this? So let's assume they have some number of counter spells. We want them to play a counter spell, right? We want them to counter the Teferi because then we're trying to get them to tap down enough mana. All right, well, let's wait because they could have syncopate. So, all right. Flashback cameras in insight. Get rid of Meandering River. We just won't want them to kill us with a... Uh... We don't want them to have settled the wreckage for the Chromium. That's what we're afraid of. So we need to get them to tap down enough land that they can't have settle. We also need to not deck ourselves. Uh. All right, let's take more turns. Oh, I can't play the search because it's under the thing. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to stack up like 10 turns here.
All right, so I guess this is the turn. We're going to see how they react to fairy. Okay, it resolves. Then from here, I guess we can win easily. Let's just see how many, one, two. I think we had like eight or so turns stacked up there. Cool. Opponent goes first. We do have Settle. We do have one white source. Ooh, and it's a green white deck. Don't interact with me, bro. search here any other land is going to be really good feels like they have a second history based on their hand yeah that explains the keep no land Hmm. It's awkward. Another awkward one. There's a lot of cantrips, and I get why there's only 24 land in the deck, but we are just getting so stuck, even with the cantrips and searches. It's really making it tough, because now we can't play... We can't play Amulet next turn. We have to find a white source so we can settle. Uh, yeah, we have to, because we're going to take 16 next turn, so we have to settle. Even Revitalize doesn't do it. So this top card, or the one under it, has to be... a white land. That's not a meandering river. All right, that's only step one. We're still so far behind here just because we lost, we missed that land drop though. I wonder if they'll spew and attack with everything. They have to attack for lethal here, right? Okay. We're just hoping they don't have another Vanguard to follow up. Ideally, we find another land and we get to play like Amulet with Revitalize and start doing some things. Uh, if we, or we might just like Nova this and let them beat us down with the Vanguard. Ooh, are they thinking of Convoking out? Yeah, they are. Oh, nothing is easy. Nothing is easy with the cheesy time walk deck. Yeah, so now we don't get to Nova. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. 
Looks like we're just digging for land. And more settles at this point. I guess we can keep the discovery on top because it lets us dig too deeper. Yeah. No, but we're in so much trouble now because this turn we're only winning because of we're only surviving because of revitalize. Revitalize puts us to fifteen. We take three, six, nine, ten, eleven. We fall to fourteen. So it's actually exactly enough that we can take one solo hit off of Vanguard. Oh, Tristani kills us. Come on. So now it's lethal. Oh. I don't know. This is so unreal. Like I feel like we've missed so many. We're losing so many of these games because of missed land drops. But the list doesn't feel like you should be playing more. Like we're playing so many cantrips. I just don't see that we should be going up to twenty six. Like also the way the algorithm works, it doesn't see it feel like we should be going up that much. 13, 24, like, I think I'm actually playing one more land in the paper list so that the algorithm adjusts. But maybe it was the breaking point at 26, though, so maybe 24 is not right. Maybe we need to be going up to 26. It just feels so bad, though. 3, 4, 16, 18. We have... 18 things that draw us a card that cost two or less and two chemistry insights yeah i think we have to just keep playing it and ride it out because i just can't imagine adding land to this deck at this point it does seem to do like it's 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 doing everything we want we have the cards we need to win we just have had too many games where we can't cast them here's a three lander that's like a much needed break from this insanity all, all these all these games save like one or two of them have felt like we could win which is what we're going for in best of one I think Second white source, very important. Mm. Yeah, I think we just want to dig to amulets, to anything that's going to do something. All right, drawing amulet means we can keep that other radical idea. A little risky because their their draw has been really slow. Though I think if they had the Planeswalker, they certainly would have slammed it last turn. I'm guessing instead we're just going to eat a Carnage Tyrant next turn. What? Or their hand is, I guess, all Chupacabras and Brassus Contempts.
Yeah, there's a little discussion of the shuffler. You know, the one thing that I've noticed, which I know there's a similar bug in Magic Online, or at least a speculated similar bug, is I, I have noticed a, a really high frequency of pushing a card either into the graveyard with uh, Surveil or onto the bottom of the library with Scry and then seeing the exact same card. Like, And yeah, it happens. Like, But... It seems to happen a lot <laughs> where I push a card and get the same thing. Um, but it is a little bit of like a birthday problem type thing where it's one, maybe it's one of those things where it, it seems like intellectually like it shouldn't happen. But when you run the numbers on it, it actually should happen a fair amount or it actually does happen more frequently than our brains understand. So I would just chalk it up to birthday problem. Black, white. So I'm guessing this is like some kind of token -y vampire deck. Land is land. But everything else, I mean, I've had like, I don't know. I feel like other than that one week where we had so many mulligans, I feel like more or less everything's been fine. I guess we're going to take this just because we don't want our opponent to know what we're up to. I don't want to flip one of these into the graveyard and have them play differently. So they're on some kind of weird black-white control deck. Or they're on like Esper that's missing a color. Alright, so this will help us like aggro flip an amulet. Uh, what should we? So what? What's the biggest blowout here? Is that they have Cleansing Nova because they're a black-white control deck? Oh no, they are Arthur Esper. All right, I think we're just gonna try to quickly flip this one before they can interact with it. Yeah, this is gonna help us flip our search. And from here, we should be able to like take a lot of turns. All right, radical idea. I guess we just want to take the turns on our turn, right? They can only counter one of these. More likely they're going to counter none of them. I shouldn't play too conservatively with too conservatively with these. And there's also just like the scoop equity of them not wanting to play against this. Yes, there we go. So all the more reason just to run it out there for the scoop equity. All right, I feel like we're finally climbing a little bit, though. We dipped into back into four. I think we're back to where we were when we started, so. Yeah. So on the play, on the, on the draw, this hand was too slow. On the play, is this strong enough? We even get to lead with the Drowned Catacombs to opt. So I guess we'll do that. Aussie 51, I think we played against this person. This might be the red deck wins person. Nope. Oh, this is like the green white player who just had it.
All right. So we're going to try to gain the life. We have settle. Hopefully we can have a timely settle against them. I think our opponent last game also like double mulligan, so that also explains why they might have just conceded so willingly. All right, white source. Maybe these reversion are not good though. I'm willing to concede that. But we don't have hallowed fountains. So we're only gonna take four here. I don't think we have to play a revitalize until after we have an amulet down. So the real question is going to be whatever they do this turn, is it enough for us to hold up settle or do we play amulet? Hmm. Alright, I guess we're just going to play amulet. We can come quite close to flipping it and gain nine in the process. Nine in the process, if you're Canadian. Okay. Token for them. So we have to care about Conclave Tribunal. These white decks always have it. Oh no, just a Falcon. Three, six, nine, ten. Yep, there it is. Just a Falcon and a Conclave Tribunal. All right, so that means this turn we're either going to double revitalize or cast Settle, depending on what they present us with an attack here. All right, we'll gain more than we took. Don't make a token on the end of the turn. So now we're going to try to bait them into using one of their like plus two, plus two to everything cards and settle them. And if they don't uh, commit to a lethal attack, we're just going to play Re Revitalize and Radical Idea and then get them with Cleansing Nova. And what's this protecting? A token. So all they'd be left with is like a 1-1. One, one. They're just going to swing at us for three again. That's really not that good. Oh, there's a red source. So now we do have to worry a little bit about reinforcements. But we go up to 13. Uh oh. And our uh, Cleansing Nova just got better. Just keep churning through the deck. Another Nova. All right, destroy all the creatures. They get to keep a token and make a token. Oh, and they get another token. Oh shoot, is reinforcements lethal here? Oh, reinforcements is only 10. So that's their best case scenario is reinforcements. Get us for 10.
Well, if they don't present lethal here, I guess we're just going to be cycling a lot of radical ideas. Trying to get to anything in the deck that does something. But they get to work this uh, Adanto super nice for them. They don't have to spend cards. So unfortunately, by burning all these, it's making it harder for us to flip. We can tear it to Fairy Plus and have Settle. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So I guess we do that. And we'll see where they go with the attack. I mean, it's not lethal yet. All right, now it's lethal. We've only used one Wrath, right? Yeah, so we have quite a few more. All right, so they're sending with eight tokens to my face. So settle them. So now reinforcements is lethal because they're going to make a token end of turn. So the thing that I'm considering is, do I want to make everything cheaper? Yeah, I think I just want to minus on the tribunal and then like discovery for a mana, opt and just try to find another settle. Making everything cheaper is probably better than it's probably worth more cards than plusing to fairy for one random. There's settle. So settle is definitely a card we wanted. Um, do we get search down too? Yeah. So next turn we're going to flip the amulet because we're going to add a counter with settle. Another Marshall. So the reason I'm playing like this is because as much as it would have been good to Nova is that if they did have heroic reinforcements, we just die on the spot. So we're playing around dying on the spot to something we can't interact with. So now we settle this. And we're putting ourselves into a position where we're going to be able to take all the turns soon, I think. Opt the ritual in the hand. Okay. 
All right, they're empty-handed. So now that we have the ritual, we can Nova them and not die. Oh, it's like a random card. Okay. Another amulet. So if we play Amulet for four, play Nova for three, and then we have enough to Ritual also, that's probably good enough. We get double Ritual, yeah, it's good enough. Let's pay this the way that we want. To untap some land. I think we have it from here. I think we were out of the out of the woods. There's not much they can top deck. We can gain eight at instant speed. They should gain more than that. We can insight first, flip this one, and gain. All right, let's see what this targets. I'm guessing it's going to go to fairy. It's totally fine. So do we want to see the six cards? I think we want to see six, right? So gain four. Flip amulet. Oh, it's still not flipped. Oh, shoot. All right, so we're just going to see four cards then. I thought this had one more counter on it for some reason. All right, Nexus. This is probably where they scoop. All right, let's see. So, I think we opt twice, and then we dig with Escanta. That's good. That's fine. All right, they probably scooped to this, right? Us showing them the second nexus. We can use Nova to destroy the Conclave and start activating to Fairy. They're not gonna scoop. So we have one, two, we have four turns stacked. So we can definitely ult to fairy off this.
I could be setting stops and playing super optimally, but I don't think we need to with the number of turn stacked that we have. Yeah. Also, we're down to 17 cards. Ooh, look at that. They added a little thing. Alright, we seem to find Chromium. That's a good boy. We're not going to mill ourselves here. We're going to close the game out fast enough. Alright, there we go. Oh, let's see. Someone else is talking here. Oh, it looks like I'm trying to drop frames. All right, but we actually netted up a win. Oh, come on. Okay, do we have time for one more? No, I don't think we do. I think we have to take the dog out and get ready for the evening. The wife's going to be returning home soon. Um, so I'm going to stop the YouTube video here. I hope everyone enjoyed. This has been a nice, long one. Um, but yeah, nice session. Started off some losing, but then we won back, and I think we had a really strong finish. So I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We're going to keep playing ranked, and uh, stay tuned for the next video, as usual.